So my uncle's moving out of his house, and I've always wanted to see this Filtex central vacuum that he has. Um, he's been here about 10 years, and the previous owner installed this. I'm trying to see if I can find the model number. There it is. Uh, can't really see it, but TS300L. So um, this is actually, let me look at the date on the unit. 87 so 87 I'd assume is when you put it in um, I can't really find any of the attachments anywhere I wouldn't really know what this is all for but I found an inlet on top of the machine and there's a busted inlet somewhere so I put that in and see weird things that have just been sitting up there for years um, unit was plugged up pretty bad um, the homeowner, I believe, put it in because you can see there's an array of short 90s everywhere and uh, things like this drop out here where uh, there was a, a T just going up just to suck it that way, but the debris shot this way and dropped right down into this valve. So there's no, in, there's no dirt in that valve. And of course you put all of these in upside down, but no dirt in the valve. Um, I cleared it out. So here's the unit going. Two motors, of course. Something doesn't sound too pretty there. There's inside of the bag. That whole, uh, 180 right there was just plugged with all kinds of junk. Uncle never really cleaned it out. He just uh, just kind of ran it <laughs> and then got a shark. Um, so let's go look at the hose here. So couldn't find any of the attachments, of course. I found the Filtex uh, floor tool. that kind of just has this rolling wheel as an agitator. Again, doesn't really do anything. There's your little suck hole there. Um, so yeah, no, no electric tools, no air driven crap anywhere. Shut that super creaky 70s door. Um, okay, so this hose is, of course, old wire reinforced and it's pretty stiff um, okay so everywhere in this house he's got these beam doors that are upside down that one's all plugged oh, crap um, probably should have brought another vacuum with just to unplug this beast of a system but of course couldn't really do that closet nothing in it don't think no super 70s um here another inlet missing screws so it's just kind of there again there's the hole Upstairs, assuming this carpet got replaced at one point. Looks rather new. Um, none of these switches really work, but okay, here's another inlet. Put it, he put all of them right behind the doors, of course, so they're pretty useless, and there's not one in the hallway, um, so you can't really just vacuum this long hallway without having to go into a room. Here's a valve I had to change. It's uh, made out of a weird material, so it kind of gets stuck every now and then. Uh, that's a problem for the next homeowner. Um, okay, this is where, again, if a light would work, that'd be great, but it doesn't. Where I found a, a Legend 2 tool, so. I assume he had a Kirby, too, obviously. Uh, here's the old valve, which I just threw in here for no reason. Um, okay, yeah, nothing in these closets that I could find. Um, 
Yeah. Very 70s. Of course, here's the bedroom, and again, yeah, nowhere in sight can you find tools. Need another inlet. Probably should have brought one of my tags from work with to kind of tag the place to get one of us out here to service it. It's definitely going to need it, but okay. The system, given how plugged it was, did not suck anything, so I had to just really go through and let it breathe. Um, and it seems to be breathing okay now. Um, again, when you just throw pipe together all in one without any sort of assumption of knowing what you're doing does not work. Um, so, whatever. Um, previous home homeowner, I'm sorry, I assume is the one who installed it. He was in heating and air conditioning, so those guys are just trying to make air move. And that's about it. They don't really care about installing a vacuum. So, here goes. And of course, this is a low voltage hose, or a basic hose rather, so no tools work. We're like, uh -oh. man, you really gotta push that in there to get it to turn on. So we got decent power. Again, if you used a modern hose, you'd get acceptable performance out of this. Probably should have Again, brought the vacuum with. Try to unplug this piece, but. All of the tools would have been chrome for this. Yeah, so these valves are pretty whacked. Um, definitely time for some vacuum valves or just new beam ones. Um, yeah, it's, it's, these old ones are pretty touchy. Um, you can't really expect much out of them. They, you gotta push them in really hard to turn them on and then they turn off easily whenever you pull them out you know usually with like the stuff i'm used to it doesn't shut off until it's fully out of the valve but these you gotta get it lined up just right for it to work you see how i really Let's see like i'll show you how touchy this is see that's touching the contact and it's still touching the contact and it's not turning on. <laughs> so, yeah, not very reliable. And of course, these carpets really just need a SIBO power nozzle because this is just not <laughs> acceptable. but you do get pretty good carpet lines out of it. So I'm gonna keep on working on the system, um, kind of clean this house up a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. Probably won't be here again, but if I do, I'll be servicing it. So thanks for watching.